if there really was a God, then the first thing I would say to him would be to please stop watching me in the shower. It's creepy. Not that I have a problem with every kind of God. I don't. In fact, I actually kind of quite like the gods that live together in big groups up in places like Mount Olympus, high above the earth, and who seem to spend an eternity drinking, fighting, and being unfaithful to one another, and who are way too busy to pay you and your insignificant life much, if any, attention. I mean, surely, if you have to have gods, then that is the kind you would want. It's basically like having a hard-partying, promiscuous neighbour who is so busy getting drunk and sleeping around that they usually have no idea what you have been getting up to. What you don't want is for there to be just one God sitting up there, surrounded only by yes-men angels, and with absolutely nothing to do except watch every move you make. And I mean every move you make. When you go shopping, go to work, make dinner, sleep, go to the toilet, when you have a shower, when you have a shower with someone else and what you do with that someone else, or even worse, when you have a shower by yourself but you are actually thinking about having a shower with that someone else, and in order to make this a fully interactive and satisfying experience, you then do to yourself what you're actually wishing that somebody else was doing to you in the shower. And then, after all of this, even though God is the one who has been secretly and without permission watching everything that you do, somehow you are the one who gets into trouble from him and not the other way round. And yes, I know, some people say that God watches us because he loves us. Yeah, well, I disagree. God is not your number one fan. He is your number one stalker. And if you do see him, please do not approach him, as he is known to be dangerous, unstable, and extremely violent. Instead, contact an authority figure who is used to dealing with this kind of situation. You know, someone like Bacchus, the Roman god of wine, or Ares, the Greek god of war, or even Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love and sexuality, so that they can distract and wean our monotheistic god off of this sick and antisocial habit of spying on everyone, and instead help him get drunk get in a fight and get laid like any normal, respectable and healthy God would do. God said go screw the get down and dirty while you're doing the do. God said go bang, go slam in every way you can. Yes, God said go screw the make sure you call out my name when you do.